Hello Orbiter community, uh, this is John and I am uh, here today to show you how to use the uh, spin function in Blender to uh, make a, uh, a simple space capsule. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Orbiter, you can go to orbitsim.com and download it for, uh, from there for free. Uh, there's a lot of help available in the Orbiter forum that uh, is specifically for the Orbiter community. You can also find a lot of add-ons at uh, orbithanger.com. And uh, you can pick up uh, Blender from uh, graphical.org or from blender.org. So to get started uh, today, I thought uh, maybe something simple, uh, but something quite useful. Uh, let's start off by uh, removing the default cube from the scene here. And uh, let me start my screencast keys here. Okay, and uh, so the first thing we want to do is press 1 uh, to get a uh, front view, and then press 5 to go into uh, the orthographic view. And uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is load a, a load of a background image. So if we come over here and enable background images, and uh, load up a, uh, a background image, there we go. Okay, the first thing we want to do is you see this center line running down the center of the capsule. You want the uh, 3D cursor to be right there. So, right about there. And it's uh, pretty important that you center it pretty well because you're going to be spinning about that central axis there. So the first thing we want to do is uh, add an object. In this uh, case, I'm going to add a plane and rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis and then tab into edit mode. Uh, deselect all the vertices and then I'm just going to delete these two on the left here. So that'll leave us with these two here, which we can put up here. You can't particularly see them that well. Let me uh, bring down the opacity on the uh, on the image here, so we can see these uh, this a little bit better. And then also, I'm going to uh, turn off these grips right here because we're not going to need them; they'll just get in the way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start by uh, moving this to the center line here so now we have this first vertex which I have selected there right, right at the dead center of the top of the capsule by the way we're doing a mercury capsule today and then we're going to uh, select the other vertice okay and so now with just the second ver uh, vertex selected we're going to hold down the control key and left click and that will add another vertex and uh, join it with an edge between the two vertices. And so we just kind of follow the shape of the ship here. And I'm going to skip this little bump out here because this bump out doesn't go all the way around the capsule. It just bumps out at certain spots. So you'll want to add that later. So I'll just go straight all the way down to here. So now you can see it coming together here. I'll select all the vertices so you can see it better. I've basically just traced the uh, the outline of the ship. And then we also need to uh, come down here. And what I'll do for this here, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll do it the easy way. You could use a curve here and do it with one line. 
it'll be a little smoother, but it'll come out nice like this too. And so there we go. Uh, there's the entire profile of the capsule. Again, you're starting at the top middle and go working your way around to the bottom middle of the object. And then you want to move from the front view to the top view so that you're now viewing it from the top. And uh, with all vertices selected, you'll come over here and select spin. And you'll see that it spins out 25% of our capsule here, including the heat shield. Uh, but that's not uh, that's not going to work for us here. Over here in the uh, degrees column, we'll slide this all the way up to 360. Uh, but you, now you'll see there's not quite enough uh, steps or faces going around. So we'll crank this up to uh, 16 is pretty good. And so at this point, what you've done is you've taken this row of vertices and spun it around the central axis there creating all these different faces uh, but at this point you're going to want to select all of the vertices by hitting the A key twice and you want to then press W and select remove doubles and you notice up here 12 vertices were removed that's the uh, extra vertices because when it spun it all the way around it ended where it began so there was a an extra set of vertices there uh, by hitting W and selecting remove doubles that will take away any anywhere where there's two vertices on the same spot it will remove one of them and make sure all edges coming to that point are joined to that remaining vertex uh, so that's basically it as far as creating the object is concerned uh, you can come over here and smooth it out with smooth vertex. Whoops, no, we don't want to do that. We want to go into uh, object mode and hit smooth. There we go. Now it does look a little goofy, so what I do in situations like this is hit Control R and it creates a loop, a, a loop of edges, and run them all the way up to the top there and down to the bottom here and so that makes that look a lot better uh, one thing you have to concern yourself with is normals uh, the normals are uh, basically imagine a line coming off of each face perpendicular to the face and you don't even really have to imagine all you need to do is enable it here where you see normals click this button here and then uh, make the size larger and you'll see on the top here you can see the normals are coming out and facing outward this is important because uh, the the face that has the normal coming out of it is the face that will be displayed uh, internal faces wouldn't be displayed so if we were to zoom inside of this capsule if we actually went inside of it and looked inside of it or if we removed some of the faces here for example let me remove these two temporarily you'll see that the uh, normals are pointing inside in, in towards the capsule and we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to select all those affected faces and then over here in the uh, mesh tools you have uh, under normals you have flip direction uh, most of the time you can get away with just without even selecting anything or by selecting all of them you can just hit recalculate and it'll generally recalculate all normals facing outward which it looks like it did here uh, but if you have a situation where just a few normals are uh, flipped 
and uh, recalculates not fixing it. You can select just those faces that are backwards and hit flip direction. And uh, so then it'll make sure all of your uh, vertices are facing the right way, which is outward, or your normals rather. So that's about it. If we turn the normals off here. There we go. We got our object back. Uh, we can we can render it. Uh, I'm using cycles, so we don't need the light source. We need a, a plane to be the light source. And we'll jump over here, here to materials. Change the type to diffusion. And then I like to just uh, have a plane like that. And then obviously our object's going to need a material. We'll just make it a, like a grayish, dark gray color. And if I just go into preview mode here, crank the light up a little bit here. And there we go. And you have a capsule. Now from here, once your object is uh, complete, you get back into material mode here. Or let's do solid mode, so don't have to worry about the lighting. Uh, once your object is complete, I'm going to remove this stuff here because we don't need it as either. Uh, let's see here. You're going to want to orient your capsule such that the top is facing you when you're using uh, the front ortho view which you can get to by hitting one on the keypad. Five switches you between perspective and orthographic view and one, three for side view, seven for top view. So you want the, uh, the top of the capsule or if you're you know, envisioning a rocket, the thrust is going to be going in this direction, but the top of the vehicle is going to be going in this direction. And that's with the front view, that's the orientation that you want. At that point, you can export it as an orbiter mesh using uh, VLAD's uh, uh, wonderful mesh export plugin for Blender. And then so from there we could drop it into into here. And I know this doesn't particularly make sense for what I just plugged it into, but it's just something to plug it into to show that it's uh, it will import into Orbiter quite nicely. And then after Orbiter loads up here, there we go. Now I did forget to uh, create a mesh group, so I didn't import the color. Uh, but there's the there's the mesh. There's what it looks like. 
Uh, it would look a lot better textured. Uh, you wouldn't see the uh, the obvious bumps or lines here, uh, but connected to a module, I have it connected to the um, multi-stage or spacecraft uh, or multi-stage DLL, my Vinca, uh, just for testing purposes and. Oh, try that again. You see that, you know, when you fire the rocket forward, it, it goes the direction you would expect it, expect it to go into. So, there you go. Uh, questions or comments, I'll leave them below or post in the forum. I hope this uh, was useful to you. Let me know.